Welcome back, guys, to our Superman and Lois series review. This is the mid-season review. So um, I've been away from the series. I haven't been following it every week. I got fell behind and everything. So There's I did a lot. A, we had a lot. There's a big yeah. break. They, the show itself. Took the, a break. Yeah, the, from the 2020 uh, pandemic. And currently it's on break now for like one or two weeks. And then it will continue. These annoying stops in production, uh, I think, have affected it negatively. My hype for it negatively. But... Here we are. We're back. We got a ton of more episodes to go through. And I did a marathon session. I wanted to see them all see. one right after the other. So the point of these mid-season reviews is to let you is to you know let you guys know if this is something you need to run out and see, or can you wait until the whole season is done and then watch it then and or wait for our final assessment. That's how we do things. I know a lot some I've got a little more downvotes on the bad batch since we didn't like it as much as everybody else, but I think People didn't quite understand. You, it's like it? the dad batch. There you go. Yeah, they, they they didn't quite understand. It's just those particular episodes we were reviewing, and and a season People can are dumb sag on the internet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. See, no. it, season can sag and season can can come back. So I think uh, the Superman is uh, and Lois is kind of like the bad batch in the sense that it it opened really really well. Uh, and okay. then it worried us. It had a worrisome episode, right? The worrisome episode was we were thinking that this whole Jordan and, and high school and the, the girlfriend, Sarah, this sort of little love thing would be be a problem and uh too much focus on the lang family would detract from the series um but overall i think there were more good episodes in, in the opening than say something like bad batch so i was very um encouraged by what i had seen and i was ready to go into this so i'd say we're going to review episodes five through ten now, right now, 11 is out as well, and we can give you that little bonus 11 when we get into the individual episode discussion, because it's about to start a whole new arc, and I knew it was coming. How much time you got, guys? You you just, it can't, <laughs> episode 11 could be its own ep fucking review. <laughs> Maybe we should do that, but okay. So anyways, but we're going to do 5 through 10, which is essentially the Morgan Edge arc of uh, Smallville. So, um, what do you guys, I'll start with you guys and I'll go last. So, Joe, what did you think? Okay, like you said before, uh, we started off on a good pace. I was like, okay, I'm actually interested. Um, Mid-season. Great, I Superman. I didn't like Jordan. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for, uh, I don't know why. I'm waiting for CW to turn him around. I was like, maybe he'll make, make him a likable character. <clears throat> yeah. Didn't work. Not I still not liking Jordan. Still not Team Jordan mm -hmm. at all. Jordan I is hate, the superpowered kid. I hate it. I don't like where it's going. Mm -hmm. But overall, like this is just like some of the average writing, like some of the uh, like twists and the mm -hmm. whatnot does not have the impact the, that I wanted. Okay, and it's very unfair. For me to start comparing it to like the MCU, because they have their shit together. <laughs> they know it's what's fair. going on. It's fair. They know how to make a TV series. Yes, they have more of a budget. Yeah. But even the some of the writing is like, come on, who wrote this? Stuff? Yeah, the writing. Yeah, yeah. So that's what's like. Oh, this is a, not where I wanted to be. Kind of, and later on in the episodes, it made me pretty disappointed as a Superman fan. Yeah. That is not a good assessment so far from episode uh, 5 through 10. Uh, be mad at Joe, not me, because I always get flack for you guys' negative opinions on yeah. things. Go ahead, Alex. If I had put down into words, like made a list of things that I'd be worried about in a series that focused on Superman's family and his interactions with his children, one being powered and one not, they have hit every single one of the things I was worried about ahead of time. The kids... Not Jordan in particular. And I feel bad for these actors because I don't think that these kids are bad actors by any means. It's just the writing that has been given to them, the attention that is given to them. We predicted this garbage love triangle thing. Uh, everything 
that I didn't want to see. <laughs> yeah, it came to true. Yeah, they're they're in kind this of arc. focusing on now. There is some really good other stuff here. There are a lot of really yeah. fun tie-ins. There's some neat twists. There's about thirty percent of a really great show here, but mm-hmm. you have to dig through it. There's so much shit to sift through to get to the good bits. There's someone in there that has a vision for a Superman story, a Superman arc, all of the characters that you know kind of coming together in a really cool way. And if you focus only on that stuff and you ignore the other 60-70% of the show, I can see you liking it. The problem is it's the CW. The CW... They want teen drama. I don't know but who they what make. what about Arrow? What about Flash? They what start about... great. Like, they... I enjoyed the first couple seasons. It's a pattern. But then they just kind of start going down. The, the quality of writing okay. starts going downhill. And True. I just... This show has been in a steady decline. Now, not a steep decline. There's still, again, there's still some good stuff. But I okay. just, I don't even know if I'd recommend people watch it. Because there's mm-hmm. now there's so much more bad than good mm-hmm. that I don't have faith... In the last third. Negative as well. Okay. Um, For me, I would say that as much as I like Superman and as much as I like the way the series started, remember, I hate it on Tyler and I hate it on uh, Lois. And and now they did a great job. And Tyler, especially as Superman, I'm convinced. I like him. Um, Unfortunately, episodes 5 through 10, for me, are mixed. So it's dangerous because I would say Superman fans would enjoy, but Joe said, no, this disappointed me as a Superman fan 5 through 10. But um, I think I'm more positive than, than them, and it's because it feels like all the flashbacks are really good. We're talking nine out of ten. Where some of the some of the alternate history stuff, some of the previous stuff, some of the Superman as the, in his old school costume saving people. Like that stuff is really really good. That's episode eleven, though, and isn't then, it? It is. That's episode eleven. But we're t- I'm talking about other flashbacks with throughout the series of going to. Evil Superman, Superman in black suit, really fucking cool visuals. You know, I'm not a huge fan of evil Superman, but when I see it like this and like all the Superman kind of floating down and just like like blowing up a city, it like evokes comics. It's really fucking cool. Um, And so I like that stuff. Um, And I like when Superman gets featured. So it's like, okay. Because it's like every episode, Superman has like a little action scene. But it's like kind of self-contained and really it's, short yes, in, that's what I was in a say. sea of other subplots, right? Yeah. And so that's why I think that almost every single episode is mixed. Uh, and, and I haven't gotten one episode where it's like – there's like one or two that are like, yes, all right, awesome. I liked it all the way through. But often it, th- this will be interrupted by either the teenage drama and the high school stuff – or by the family, Kyle, the dad, Kyle, and, and, Lana, and Lana Lang, and her daughter, Sarah. Uh, do, do, does Jordan show up to the talent show on time? I don't give a fuck. There are but more hard, important things going on. It was a heartwarming thing. She gets no. to perform with her father. <laughs> yeah. I, I hated it, Joe. And then, and then. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. Just I hate that shit. And uh, and so it makes every single episode a little mixed for me. While they're doing Superman as a character justice, while they are handling the Superman as a father a lot better than I thought they would, because I think he's. He's doing a great job as as a father. I really like the Jonathan uh, character. Me too. I think Jonathan lo- feels yeah. like Superman's son, whereas Jordan feels like a punk ass kid who literally is ignoring oh, everything. He's an idiot playing. for idiot's sake to drive. Plot. Yeah, yes. it's the story stuff is making him do some of this stuff, and you can tell how the the, the writers want to play with his emotions. Let's make him happy this episode. Let's take it away so that he can have these this unstable. That is what pisses me off. Is like he's finally happy, getting into his own little groove. I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll like him. And then take they it just away, take it, go back. They swerve back into yeah. like, oh, he's whiny again. It's like, what are you doing? Yeah. You're making this character. I'm like, okay, he's tolerable. Mm. And now you just went back to this like ground zero. 
And you talk about the. Hey. I think Lois is, Lois's parts are doing well. She's doing her investigation. She's doing her love and care and support. That's strong. Uh, you know, Tyler as, as Superman. That's strong. That aspect of it. I'm even starting to come around on Sam, the general. I hated Sam as a general, but I'm starting to see little bits of him that, like, okay, I like him. He does what he does. He, he has reason for it, and his reasons mm -hmm. for building weapons against Superman are. Just justified in, in by the end of this particular arc, episode five, five to ten. At some point, they say you're not welcome here anymore because Superman gets hurt from it. All the stuff where Superman is involved and he's fighting either people with anti-Superman weapons or Sam or trying to figure out what's going on with Morgan Edge and why superpowered beings are showing up, that stuff is great and interesting. Agreed. I would say you don't need to go out and rush out and see episodes 5 through 10. I think that you could skip 5 through 10 for now until the season has wrapped up and then do the marathon and go through it when, when you know we have a conclusion to the arc. I wanted to come out here and say rush out and see these episodes now because they're great. But they're mixed, even for a big Superman fan. Yeah. And we can talk about exactly why. But first, we'll do that in our spoilers and episode breakdown section. But first, let's just go to final verdicts. We're going to wrap up the entire 5 through 10 in a grade for the midseason rating and get ready for the downvotes. Okay. You guys ready for the downvotes? I'm going to say this is a 6. Because uh -huh. uh, I do enjoy some of those parts that you talked about. But again... Like Alex said, you have to like push yourself through some of this teen angst and all this. CW so you gave Bad stuff. Batch a seven, and this one a six. Yeah, because okay. the other one had better animation, the yeah. fights and stuff. But <clears throat> this one, the characters I liked, like I liked all those characters. These is hit and miss. Well, not hit and miss. Like Jordan's the only one that kind of annoys me, and mm -hmm. the whole love triangle thing. And Jonathan's just trying to keep his composure yep. and all that <coughs> stuff. But the fights were good. Some of the twists I kind of wanted to be. Are we in spoiler territory? Not no. yet. Not yet. Okay. You can well, say that person's identity disappointed yeah, me. Yeah, it blah, was blah, very blah. disappointing. I was mm -hmm. like, I wanted something better. Mm -hmm. If they would have like kind of cut some of the high school stuff and focus more on that, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I would have given. This or a all higher, the high school stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but again, it's just a little bit because there he does have sons and we do need to know what they're doing. But the talent show. <laughs> No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. Cut, cut yeah, a little bit. You like, said cut all of it. Yeah. And I said, no, I think you don't need to cut all of it. You need to write it better and do, do little like less. If they do a complete flip, if they focus more on like, <clears throat> yeah. the same time they do school sure. stuff, flip that yeah, into yeah. the action stuff, and then the 30%... Of the school, yeah, seventy yeah. percent of the action. So what you're saying is the show is more like Sons yes. and Superman and Lois it's is the title of the thing, is. when it should be Superman and Lois. Yeah. And Sons. Okay, so six, six out of me. ten, Alex. Yeah, um, I don't know if I would put it as high as as a six. I think there's some really cool parts to the show, uh, and I wish they'd focused on them. They, I mean, they've shown over and over and over <laughs> that, that I. I am not who they're trying to reach. I don't know who the fuck likes the CW teen shit, right? Like Vampire Diaries inside of Superman. It's not for us, but I'm pretty sure CW keeps doing it because they know a segment there's of just, their audience There's a huge group of imbeciles that. out there that are just like, oh, I love this and, shit. And women who like more focus on those types but of stories. I like drama, though. It's, like, trying to, it's trying to do both, it, Lois and Superman. It's trying to get both markets. I don't know if it's doing it well because yeah. our oh. market is being like, ah. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I was like, I don't you got to please the Superman. Dude, I like romantic comedies. I like dramas. I like when they're well written. And this is not that. This mm. is not well written shit. And mm. I think we are far closer to you need to cut all the teen shit out than, yes, ideally you write it better. But if you're given the option, I'd have it all be gone and we focus on, on the good parts. Um, this is this is average, and I think it's very generous to say that it's average. I did like some of the twists and turns in 5 through 10, some of them. And I do think that they actually took some time to write a kind of cohesive and interesting, th like the, the sub thing, the arc kind of going through mm -hmm. 5 through 10 is actually kind of clever. Mm -hmm. I'm not familiar if it's from the comic, like specifically from mm -hmm. the comics or no, not. Not from and the so comics. Good on you for coming well, up with a Superman a story that, that's mm -hmm. kind of that's kind of cool. I kind of like the things that they did there. Mm -hmm. The problem is you you're just sifting through... Yep. Uh, so much bad stuff. So I think it's a very generous buy. I'm going to give it a five. Okay. Um, I clearly like this more than you guys. Um, I think I'm probably biased. I'm 
wearing a Superman outfit. I, I think the show is solid. I think it's strong. And there are parts of the show that bother me. But overall, I think uh, – I'm happy to see Superman on the screen. That shouldn't factor into the rating, but you know, I, I, I just I'm too, very, very I happy that I have a that Superman that show. I know, I know. Um, I would say that, uh, and it sucks that they had to stop in production in the pandemic because they were getting like 1.4 million, and now it's 0. 0.7. It, it is. They have their audience from that, and it's slowly going up again. Uh, you know, and hopefully that uh, doesn't uh, affect. Okay, they're already getting a season two, so never mind. Uh, we're fine. We're getting a season two, and because uh, I was like worried that that was going to mess conclusion. things up. The, the kids go but off anyways, to college. We don't see them again, and then everything will be great. <clears throat> I like it when Superman's on screen. I'm liking when we're doing the battles. I'm liking what they're doing with uh, the villains that they're bringing in. I like it the implications of the family, uh, Superman raising sons. What I don't like is I don't like the the CW melodrama, which is the high school stuff too much there the love triangle stuff that happens towards the end of this arc and then also the lang stuff there's too much focus on lang if you rip out the kyle character who nobody gives a shit about or wants and lana makes a few cameos here and there instead of being one of the main fucking characters with this sarah and sarah's connected because she is the object of affection of jordan and you have all these connections i just get rid of that or lessen it to a certain degree and expand these great storylines that you're setting up yeah. the identity of this lex luther person the true identity and all these expand that expand yes. <laughs> what you have here with morgan edge and this huge reveal and superman's heritage and identity and krypton like whoa that was crazy you know that could be really and 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 expand on the battles and it may be the budget so far, the CGI has been good, except for one really bad, you know, episode. This was like he's stopping a train, and it's just pure yeah. CGI, and the camera spinning because. And I was like, "Oh my god, I, I that's give it embarrassing." A pass. Well, you're right. It this is the CGI wreck. and stuff is way better than Supergirl. You can't help but, not but to look. when you see that <laughs> that one scene, I forget which episode it is. Oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah. real I bad. That. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with a. I think it's solid. I think it's a seven out of ten but i think you can wait uh and yeah. that's only because there's tons of mixed episodes in there and if there was one that i can point out and i'd be like yeah that's the one you should see uh i would i would tell you to go see it but honestly what they've done here in this particular arc uh and we're going to talk a, a little bit of spoilers is they redid man of steel Okay, they did redid Man of Steel, but uh, changed some things around and made the bad guy, instead of General Zod, they tied the bad guy closer to Superman. And that works better theoretically. Unfortunately, when you compare this person to Michael Shannon's performance, it doesn't come anywhere near close. You compare the battles in it and the resolution of, you know, the implications of the having a ton of Kryptonians versus Superman. It doesn't come anywhere close. It is. It, it, it was kind of time. stupid for them to redo, in, in a sense, Man of Steel without the budget of Man of Steel, which we've already seen. So, and I love that film. That's a nine out of ten film for me as an Elseworld story for Superman, a Superman who didn't have time to walk the beat and, and get good at stuff, and he was just immediately thrown in against thirty Krypton Kryptonite uh, Krypton Kryptonians. Um, and it's similar here, and it's just the way it's resolved. It's like, are you fucking serious? Like, yes, that I was would. the terribleest battle I've ever seen. It was <laughs> awful, and so it 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 sort of pokes. Uh, a needle into the balloon because it was really cool. Like, I liked what they were doing there, yeah. but it pop and it pops. Is it, that's it? And like, that's what? it? Yeah. Fuck. So, seven out of ten because there's some good concepts here. There's some good things here. I see like the TV forward. limitations. <laughs> I see the TV budget limitations. And it's like, yes, that held you back, but you could have wrote it a different way as well. So, anyways, that's it for our uh, review up front. Five we're going to go. In five, episodes 5 through 10, uh, I, I'd say that it's sagging a little bit. I'm going to go 7 out of 10. So I like it slightly better than the mid-season of Bad Batch. Joe likes it slightly less than the mid-season of Bad Batch. 
And Alex, I forgot what you. He liked that. Yeah, uh, well, anyways. Did I? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and they're so, both <laughs> sagging in the middle real bad. So. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. So, we're going to go into spoilers. Thank you all so much for watching. And let's do the episode breakdown and tell you all the twists and turns. Um, okay. Let's do that now. Anyway, so we've got uh, there, there's there's you know, I wanted to do mid seasons where it's just straight up spoilers, but maybe it is better to you know do the section. You you let us know in the comments because sometimes people are like, well, I haven't watched those first few episodes yeah. and I haven't watched the mid season. Tell me if I should watch it. And if we just start with a bunch of spoilers, then that kind of fucks it up because you don't get the reveal. There's fun reveals. Because there's in tons this. of reveals in this, so yeah. uh, that's why we we didn't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So okay, here we go. So the first thing, let's take care of the uh, – at the very end of episode f four that we left off on – no, f five, five that we left off on. It was episodes six through ten. My bad. I, I think I said something oh. else. Um, Tag attacks Jordan. So we get the immediate resolution. So Tag is this sort of, oh, new, next, next week's villain kind of thing. Tag, excuse me, was incredibly disappointing. They do absolutely nothing with Tag. I mean, he's in the episode. He's got super speed. Uh, he fucks around with Jordan and then leaves. And then he messes around with Sarah, asking, trying to show Sarah that Jordan has superpowers. So did and he something to did me. something to me. And then fucking Lee, Superman, tries to help him. And then he just then get gets put in a CGI. hole from DOD. Yeah. <laughs> a terrible train CGI with, with Superman trying to chase down Tag and him running over the railroad tracks, which cause him to warp. And so Superman warps him back with his heat vision or something. I don't yes. know what happens. He heats up the tracks so that they're, they're more pliable <laughs> so and he puts them back down. down and it's it. just, it was awful. And this awful CGI. The first time I was like, this is really bad. I, this I is Supergirl levels. I kind of gave a chuckle. I was like, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> so that was disappointing. Uh, what, uh, what are some, uh, and so, so another big uh, plot point is this Lex Luthor in armor. We all thought that this was Lex Luthor, you know, a different universe, different guy, uh, was with Lois. Well, it turns out that's not Lex Luthor. He just kind of captured some technology. Uh, his name is actually John Henry Iron. So I actually like this one because I that like... Was sweet. I freaking like Steel. I did. I liked he it. He didn't like it. I, we no, liked, I, it, I I liked it. You didn't like okay. it? I liked it, but... Oh. It just didn't have the impact. I wanted them to linger more, I, do something with it. It had a better impact than Shaq. Shaq. I, How I, dare you? That's I a classic. Him. That movie is a classic. They should have casted Shaq. <laughs> no way. I really like this aspect. I think that we would have known instantly. They wouldn't have been able to do the next. They wouldn't hide they're anything real. from it. I think they delivered it well. They 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 cut the the scenes together. Where you know they, they kind of explained everything, and I think this is one of the bright, one of the yeah. few bright spots of this mid season for me. Yeah. And then it you... raises the score. We get flashbacks to yeah. this evil Superman who's turned on everybody, is like destroying the city with other like superpowered Kryptonians. I thought I was like, wow, this is really cool. Stay stay in this universe real quick, you know. Even as a fan of hating, you know, the injustice and the evil Superman, it's like if we're gonna do it, then do it right. But and as do soon it as all that stuff happens, we go back to Jordan. It's like, yeah. oh, Jordan, so he's got that right. hearing thing, <clears throat> and his yeah. Football so field the happens. other subplot. So then we well hold on, let's still stay with uh, John Henry Irons. Uh, he's hell bent well, on destroying Superman, and is pretty good at it. Uh, gets his hammer, fucks everything up. Cool. The kids have to basically, the boys have to show up and and help superman out so i like that that the boys are now getting more involved um lois made a huge error which i don't think is very lois of her she said she wasn't going to hide everything from the kids let's not tell them superman's like i want to tell them by the end of all these episodes she's like you're right we need to tell no, them never things, tell anybody you know and lois. always be open so i don't know they, they kind of failed her on that part but whatever so anyways uh the boys are starting to figure out more and more stuff um and and starting to actively help now, uh, so we got that, and then the John Henry Irons becomes from a uh, sort of adversary to a potential ally. Um, they He's posing as a reporter. Lois is doing some investigation. His RV <laughs> has, like, machine guns in it and shit and gets Jonathan in trouble. 
And I liked this. I loved all this stuff because it's like when Jonathan is explained that he's like Lois. He's more like Lois because he's unsuperpowered. Us unsuperpowered people need to stick together in the family of superpowered people. Like I like that dynamic, and I'm like, maybe they won't give John powers. Maybe he is Lois, and and Jordan is Superman kind of thing, just mixed, you know, kind of thing. I want Jordan to lose his powers and give it to Jonathan. Yeah, me too. I want Jonathan to have the powers and fuck Jordan. He's way better. He's way more responsible. I know. Um. <laughs> anyway, so then you got that little that little storyline. Yeah, but um, the problem with that, which is cool like as it. the reveal for John Henry Irons was, it was. Being mixed in with this garbage football game yes. storyline that lasted mm-hmm. so long. They wanted it's, to get revenge on. But yeah, it's Metropolis versus <coughs> Smallville. And it's like, Dad, I don't want to play football. And he's like, No, Jordan you can't play football. People. Yeah. And he's like, You got beat up. You can't do that. And he's Tag like, Well, I'm going to play. And so his. His eye lasers are going out of control, and he can't help it. But he really wants to play football, even though he could kill all of the kids on the field yeah. accidentally. And that's what happens. Superman lets him, and it was a bad idea. And he's like, let it out. And he uses his eye vision on his hand. Superman can take it. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if he's going to plan on letting him play. Uh, probably um, not. Probably and then he, not. he cripples his brother. <laughs> that's another real fun thing. He and it pissed me off. Yeah. So Jonathan now potentially Breaks is crippled. It. So he, he breaks his arm. Quarterback. Well, he doesn't just break yeah. his arm. He may never get full hand. function back. Um, he specifically says, "I will never play quarterback again." I lose. Comp- he I, he ruined made- his I have career. no idea how John like maintains his composure That's through all this stuff. Yeah. Like, like I would he hate my should brother have the powers because he's like, "All right, well, you broke my arm." Well, how did he break football. his arm? He was going to punch the bully from Metropolis. Yep. You know, Jordan was going to punch the bully from Metropolis. And Jonathan's, Jonathan's trying to prevent his brother from being a murderer. And so he sticks his hands out in front and shatters yeah, his arm. And it's just like all floppy and gross. Mm-hmm. And uh, so he's now yep. going to be crippled. <clears throat> I hate, uh, it sucks. And uh, the DOD eventually detains Marcus, uh, whose real name obviously is John Henry Irons. Um, and then we get... Um, let me see what we got, what we got, uh, episode. So that was basically, oh, we're jumping around here. Okay. Uh, six was tag stuff. Um, and doing that X kryptonite stuff. Um, Lois wants answers and they find out he's not really a reporter. There's something more to him. Then we move on into, and Lana agrees to help investigate Edge because there's something going on there. And we go into episode seven, Man of Steel. Jordan's super hearing is starting, and he's starting to get sick and hearing all these things and shit. And then. This is uh, another episode that kind of pissed me off. Mm-hmm, and uh, Lana's tasked with finding people to recruit who are eventually going to turn into superpower X Kryptonite army for Edge. Um. Lois arranges a meeting between Marcus and Superman, um, and that was kind of cool there. You get the red solar flares. You get the suns helping him with the hammer um, because Jordan hears him with his super hearing finally and shows up and helps him with the thing. Then the DOD detains Marcus, um, and then, let's see, and then we get the cool flashback. So I really, really like this particular episode. Fuck, I'm jumping around too much. I, I got thrown off. So let me just say, episode six, Broken Trust, I gave it a six out of ten. Episode 7, where we start to get some of these flashbacks, I really liked. I thought this was really fucking cool. It was a solid episode. The sun's showing up to save him. The battle with John Henry Irons, the flashback stuff. 9 out of 10. I like this one. So when I said there wasn't real, one real good episode, I was, it was between an 8 and a 9 on Man of Steel. Episode 7, Man of Steel. Um and then uh, we go to episode eight, Holding the Wrench. Uh, that's where, you know, Lois goes to the RV to find more about John. Uh, Superman questions how he got there, and he explains everything. Lois goes to a psychiatrist because she yells at Jonathan. Jonathan, which is like, damn, that's no. Parents yell all the time, and they don't go to psychiatrists. Stop wow. doing dumb things. Yeah. The guy just wanted to help. And then oh. she's like, I could go to therapy now. What? Anyways, um, Jordan, and this is the talent show episode with the Jordan and Sarah, and you like. Is, is this the one where Jordan gets the hearing and he hears? Um, he thinks Jonathan's flirting with. No, him? that's the John Henry Irons episode. Okay. That episode had some amazing parts, but yeah. the, I that's think that's what dragged it down. Yeah, yeah. that that okay. third of that episode no. is. Oh, yeah, for this me, one was, was the whole talent show, and then his powers, he keeps sneezing, so he gets replaced by Kyle. Mm-hmm. And he has uh, this whole father 
daughter thing. Yeah, no, this is when Jordan does the talent show with Sarah, and they start to like each other again, and then, and, you know, her father misses it and shit, and... And then by the end of the episode, Lois apologizes and explains a miscarriage of Natalie because we saw this daughter character in the flashbacks to the evil Superman. And apparently this version's Lois also tried to have was about to have a daughter, but it was a miscarriage. And that's when she connects with John and says they're the unpowered uh, ones. And we realize in this episode that Morgan Edge is building an army, but I hated it because it was too much focus on the talent show and the missing and the father missing it and then Jordan being there and all that stuff. Goddamn shit. Kyle. <laughs> and, and then Lois go, having being at a psychiatrist and all Fucking this other Kyle. stuff. I don't know. It was, I didn't like it. Um, so that was a five out of 10 for me on holding the wrench. It really went down after that. Uh, episode nine, loyal subjects, uh, Lois's reporter skills, continuing to try to find out what's going What you know, why Smallville specifically did he choose? And it turns out that because all the ex kryptonite was under there, all the people got used to exposure the best and so subjects. then when being converted using the eradicator technology it's revealed that the eradicator technology in part was built by superman's mother back on krypton but the technology was perverted and and you know used now in order to transfer souls or essences of real kryptonians into the human bodies and that's why they're all evil and super powered or whatever so uh they're they're trying to find candidates. Uh, Superman has trouble in this episode. Really cool. I love the um, this old school bank robbery stuff where Superman comes in and beats people up. But he has a little bit of trouble with his breathing. Um, and it's a really cool action scene. And that's from previously where he was working with Sam. And Sam has all these weapons and Superman and this gas thing that blows up in his face and stuff. But Superman's showing some weakness. Um and and Lois just has enough, and she just goes and confronts him straight up, uh, Morgan's Edge, in, in his office, and it's like, I don't understand why he doesn't kill her, or just take her out or something, but... It's CW. I guess she's got the <laughs> clicker for Superman to show up, but anyways... He's, um, f- he's the f- sec- like the fastest guy on Earth. He could just be like, no, clicker broken, I'm going to throw you into the sun. Yeah. Um, and then we've got uh, a Jonathan, I think I forgot about it in the last episode, but Jonathan gets a little subplot with a girl named Tegan, Maybe it could be his girlfriend, possibly. He asked her for a date, but yeah. she, like, turns him down. And she's like, I was just feeling sorry for you because, you know, you had the cast and everything. You, you can do better, Jonathan. Don't worry, man. It's like, damn, Jonathan like, is I just like you, Jonathan. constantly shit on <laughs> yes. every fucking like, episode. When can does anything Jonathan... go right for Jonathan? Only he, he had that one time when the football field is like, I'll be the, I'll be the quarterback. Yeah, yeah. Touchdown. Crippled. <laughs> Crippled. You'll never play football in the I, rest of your I, life. I don't know why he's the fucking Jonathan punching bag. Sorry, Joe. I see why you identify with him. <laughs> jo- uh, so now Jordan is oh, somehow Lord. infected with the same gas that yeah. was infected his father in the previous episode because his father. Fought, I forgot to tell you that he fought a soldier, and because they were trying to break out John Henry Irons and kill him, Morgan Edge bullshit. And and anyways, so it's revealed that you know Sam has been working on weapons. He's like, you know, she was like, how, how dare you? No, it's fucking obvious. You well, know? he knew Even it. Super- he told you. This is before. particularly stupid because Superman, in the very first episode of this, of what we're covering, gets shot in the chest with kryptonite. Yeah. He knows. He yeah. fucking knows oh, they're oh, running around with kryptonite. Also, in the yeah, but it's like, episodes, yeah. he said, I'm collecting all the kryptonite. Yeah. Well, so it, it pisses Lois off, all. and she's like, you're not welcome here anymore, and all that other yeah. stuff. But anyway, it's, so... It's dumb. Uh, Lois scolds Sam, but Sam has a right to build weapons in case Superman goes rogue. You know, Sam is her father, the general, um, and Lois says he's not welcome anymore. And the, and and so uh, Superman takes Jordan to the fortress because he's sick and he's falling apart. So, so so the fortress shoots laser beams at his lungs, <laughs> and uh, ah, you know it's, it's like, got to burn out. It's the on his face. Tonight. I'm like, shouldn't it be on no, his no, lungs? No, no. It's on his face. It bounces Anyways. around inside. That's uh, how lasers work. So then Sam explains why he built the weapons to Jonathan, and and John calls him a coward. And I'm like, John, it's like, you know, it's, I mean, think about it, bro. But, you know, I understand why he's upset. So then this is where shit gets real. So the episode was going, and then it kind of comes up here because uh, Morgan, I guess, is that enough, and he wants to go and intimidate him. And he just sends subjects to attack Lois at the Kent farm. 
And when those two show up at the door and they start fucking burning shit like at motherfucking Superman's house, like, oh, I'm like, oh, shit got real. Like, they directly attack Lois and the kids. And um, Sam comes in with the gun. Yeah, Sam comes in with the gun, sort of justifies all the existence yeah. of doing all this kind of stuff, saves them. Um, Jonathan shoots them. Sarah's, and, and then they go out to the uh, barn. They get moved to the farm. And... Uh, and Sarah's dad, Kyle, I we think his meet name Kyle. is. Fucking Kyle. Kyle. Once again. He keeps showing up at Fucking this place. Kyle. And it turns out he's <laughs> super powered. And he almost kills Jonathan in this. Superman saves them, and then the enemies retreat. And it's like, stop letting people get away, Superman. Like, this is pissing me off. I know you got to do more episodes in the future, but whatever. They attacked your house. The Man of Steel Superman would be like, you never attack my mother. Remember, he goes after him. He's like, he's fucking pissed. But this Superman's not like, oh, you whenever you attack my family. Anyways, Sam admits his faults, and he says that, you know, he's going to stay until the war is over because there's now a war coming. They've attacked the fucking Ken's house. And then that's when they find out that the people of Smallville are special for the ex-Kryptonite. And then finally, at the end, you get the big reveal. Morgan Edge reveals himself as a Kryptonian and calls Superman brother. Brother. Smash the credits. We don't get any context. We just get that. And I'm like, what? Are you talking like, like Hulk Hogan brother? Or like, are we talking what? brother brother? Yeah, because then I was like, oh, Superman has a brother? This is a cool, interesting What's twist. Up, brother? Seven out of ten, I gave that one. Now, finally, we're at the last one, episode 10, Oh Mother, Where Art Thou? Great opening. It's not his brother, it's his stepbrother. They are speaking to each other, they're in their yeah. costumes, fucking sweet, and then they share a mother, he explains, he has to go, it's a long explanation. Doesn't they share a mother, sense. his uh, Tal Ro, son of Zeta Ro, and Laura Lorvan, uh, Zeta Ro married Laura Lorvan before Laura Lorvan married Jarrell and got with Jarrell and had Kalel. Okay? Yeah. Do you got it? I got Joe? it. <laughs> Tal Ro and Kalel are now uh, brothers, uh, technically. So, yeah, because Laura remarried after, no, before Jorel. No, Laura remarried into Jorel. Yeah. Okay. So, Tal Ro is actually the first son of Kip Krypton. So, Morgan Edge says, my name is Tal Ro. I'm like, what? He you, landed what in what, a Britain? And, <laughs> Britain. Uh, yeah. It was a terrible place to land there. Yeah. yeah. He, he killed everybody, but no one's ever heard of a Superman or anything. Well, he, he murders fucking farmers who find him, but they shoot at him first. And it's like, what the fuck is wrong with these farmers? They see a little kid, and yeah, his eyes are glowing, or he looks... There's a spaceship, Or he's though. got the cool... He's got the 90s hair, which is all, like, emo. But and they're like, yeah, shoot boy. him! He's, he's a, a little boy! Maybe I'm like, what the Irish. fuck? This is so stupid. <laughs> if anything, the Americans would have shot That's with a fucking gun. That's what I was gun, thinking. And not the fucking British. So whatever. This pissed me off. better take that spacecraft and turn around. <laughs> get, 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 get out of here. Get to yeah. yes, You illegal alien. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he offers to su uh, Superman to bring back Krypton. Not only am I going to bring back Krypton Who's here on family? Earth, your I'm going to bring your mother back. And Superman's like, whoa. Right? But and you this is goddamn Man of Steel. Only instead of Zod being a general and just hating Jarell because of, or hating Kal El because of Jarell, they kind of fix that how, where there's more of an emotional impact, or they're supposed to be. But I don't feel it yep. between these two. Well, also and people are saying, "Oh, well," and I saw articles written, "Oh, this fixes Man of Steel." I'm like, "No, this does it worse than Man of Steel." Unfortunately, while on paper it seems like it would be a more effective Man of Steel, like Tal Ro instead of Zod is bringing Krypton back, and they're bringing Krypton back through the Eradicator, which doesn't make sense. That Superman's mom made something so evil and stupid, but no, it was perverted by this and that and didn't, all this other stuff. Ugh. Well, anyway. so she wouldn't even know who Kal El is, which is a huge plot hole, like huge problem in the first place, because her consciousness was taken previously, which is why Tal Ro has her consciousness to begin with. Okay, so Alex is talking about the new next plot point where they need to, they don't understand the eradicator technology. Well, he even says, I'll bring mom back. It's like, she wouldn't know the fuck I am anyway, so who gives a shit? Yes. What are you talking about? It, it's a snapshot of the AI. Yeah, but why? Okay, you're saying that they took the snapshot 
when she was still married to Zetero and not Jarrell. Yeah, that's why that that's their whole plan. That's the reason he was sent. He was sent with the Eradicator. I, might, I must have missed that. I don't know fr- why I assumed that it was just a copy of her right up to the moment of her death. No, because yeah. he, he was the first one there. He was the first one there, and the mm-hmm. Eradicator was sent with him by the father. That's why he was specifically sent. The father. No, no, he didn't have the Eradicator when he was on Earth. Yet Superman is the one that brought the Eradicator to him. Superman. Well, the the Eradicator he was supposed. He got the Eradicator to, through Superman. The Eradicator was supposed to be sent with him, which is why. No, his father's like, "Where's the Eradicator? I don't have it yet. Father it hasn't arrived." And yeah, then so later the f- on in in episode eleven, then he throws Superman. Well, if like, the father, the which is a snapshot, right. knows about the Eradicator, then it was sent. Okay, so at the time. there's a potential plot hole that I'm not getting or understanding right now because I don't well, know how the Eradicator works. Again, the writing. <laughs> I don't yeah. know how the Eradicator yeah. works. You all say it's a. It's, they have, must have had to take the snapshot before she married Jarrell. I'm saying that it just contains the consciousness of the person all the way up to their death. Anyways. Um, kind of a spin on the Man of Steel movie, but not Zada wrote that down. Laura's invention in tech, not her invention, Eradicator, you know, they perverted it. Lois leads a team of Sam's soldiers to capture Kyle. I thought that was cool. So was, uh, Lois, Lois gains access to, to Kyle's house, um, and then soldiers show up, and they capture him because he's super well, she powerful. beats his ass, which was yeah. kind of fun. Fucking Good. sweet. She, she, instead of a, a bunch of nickels, yes. she's got a kryptonite in her hand, and she just like fucking that. socks him in the See? fuck. And I, it's yeah. only one punch. This, it's a little this episode, cool I there are some like, cool parts. This was the best episode for me. Okay, uh, so then finally, uh, as she explains everything uh, to Lana, that the husband, your husband's fucked. I mean, he's a stupid idiot, and he went in. He's like, I want to be my better self because he didn't get the promotion and all these stupid other things, and so he took the superpowers. Um, Sam talks to Kyle in his cell, kind of learning more about it, and he's being a weirdo in it, you know. And the boys explain to Sarah about her dad that you're now involved in all this stuff. Um, but this is where, like you said, they need Superman's mother to reverse the process from the Eradicator. So Lana Lang takes on Superman's mother as a host so she can help. Freud. And this was, weird. was so weird disappointing. Shit. This was weird. This was disappointing for me. Well, not only was it weird, but it was disappointing. It's like, oh, Superman's mother is going to be in the plot line, and it's, it's going to be the first time he meets his mom in a certain way. And then, But all of the meeting and all of their dialogue, and, and, and I'm not even sure there's a goodbye a uh, satisfying goodbye it was all disappointing this meeting between superman and his mother i don't know how y'all feel i thought it was weird it because he's like hey this is my mom but this is also my girlfriend this is my ex-girlfriend <laughs> slash mom now, now. and uh, yeah. i'm not sure how to feel uh you know oedipus See, and freud and all sorts of weird shit uh, the I'm ex-girlfriend like, still obviously likes me yeah i'm gonna have some <laughs> weird dreams for the next couple decades and i don't know how to feel about any of this stuff Got, got it out of your system? I got a very confused boner right now. Okay. Yeah. Was it actually shown off in the show and addressed in the show? No. No, just really. we have eyes okay. and we, you see how fucking awkward it is. So Superman's mom explains stuff. Uh, you got to m- put people through the machine again, well, basically. Yeah. Uh, and she'll modify it well, or the whatever. The way she also says, it's like, oh my God, it's Superman. I know you're used to it, but oh, it's Superman. Oh. No? You don't, nothing. Are you talking about before she oh, became yeah. the mother? She's like, you get to be around yeah, Superman so all the time. Like, it was Lana Lang seeing like Superman him. in person. Yeah, yeah she still likes him. It's his, it's his first girlfriend. Anyways, uh, so Superman has to hold off Edge while the mother does this. Um, but does it? Hold on. Um, that crystal ball, the football. Yeah. It's the but Vince Dumbarty help, trophy he had to carry around. Too. Yeah, she had to like create the little crystal ball thing, and he has to like. Also, it's a football. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, he, so again, we're gonna go back. We got some more flashbacks. Uh, he's hunted. Uh, Tauro is hunted by the government and a bunch more farmers now, and some police officers, which makes no sense because number one, he could have easily overpowered all those like hunting rifles and countrymen he out there flew and off. flew away. What are but, they gonna do to no, him? No, and then he's experimented on like how why doesn't he break out? Why doesn't he use his laser vision? It doesn't make any sense. It's just to make him a tortured soul. Yeah. It's the writing is for so he hates humanity. Yeah. I fucking hate it. Mm-hmm. Um and because he could have been loved, and then oh, there's two Superman, but that doesn't work, and so whatever. No, because you need a torture. You need you need. They a could villain. have done Incredible, uh, 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 Invincible, and instead they did garbage. 
Um, yeah, and then um, so the super army finally comes, right? And and they're flying through the air, and there's like thirty of them. And then Superman runs. I mean, he just starts running. Uh, they've got a little bit of a plan here, right? Um, but and then over here, Tauro Morgan Morgan's Edge is just repeating Michael Shannon's performance, only worse. Uh, that he's going to bring back the army and stuff like this, or a uh, Krypton. So Superman can do a solar flare here in the TV series, though I didn't really see it. It was more like, you know, they were shooting at him and he just exploded. But I guess he did the solar flare while he was shooting at him, creating even more energy. Uh, and it all depowers Rose Army at one time. So we had these we had this terrible CGI Troll. of them flying and they're 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 all in different positions, but then in one shot they're all lined up with all their eyes glowing and then they fire at Superman. Question. And, yeah. Okay, so super disappointing. Okay, so once that happens, they have no more powers, right? Splat, 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 <laughs> splat, they got splat, they got splat, powers. Splat, 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 splat. That's what I <laughs> they wanted. They got powers for like 17 more seconds. No, yeah. no, they, uh, <laughs> they fell over immediately. This Kyle like, immediately okay, fell over. These real people, these mothers, were, these fathers, these old people, these young people. Way up they're, in the dead. they're dead. They're dead. <laughs> I wanted them to splat onto the fucking earth. That's the first <laughs> thing I thought of. I was like, wait, their powers are gone. They are. They're three. There's like 50,000 feet up, right? Yeah. And so, <laughs> so I just my first thought was this was super lame. I mean, uh, they were firing all their eye lasers at him. And he fires his at the device, so he's the device. So he collects so all theirs it. and his and his. Th then he does his super. Okay, and then it explodes. Um, include, but why? But even people far away is cured. Yes, because that doesn't make uh, any Kyle fucking was sense. Too. Yeah. No, yeah. Kyle is in a cage. Yeah, oh no, it, he was Kyle is. Cured. He's directly under them. Right, but yeah. So it's like, uh, even people far away are cured. Just so lame, so disappointing. I what was, a cop out. Yes, that's, huge I cop liked out. It, and then this happened. They repeated like, Man of Steel on. only worse and without the action. So no real goodbye to his mom for Superman. Really, I mean, it wasn't. It, it, you know, it, it didn't have the impact. Yep. Superman and like his I mother. Said, I mean, for Christ's sake. Anyway, Superman retreats to the fortress um, because he's all, oh, you're going to, Sam goes, he's going to be weak for a few, you're going to be weak for a few days. How do you fucking know that, Sam? Do you know how Superman's powers work? Whatever, fine. Is it so he's going to be, he's, <laughs> <laughs> so he retreats to the fortress. But here's the thing, Roe and his assistant are unaffected. I understand why Roe is not affected, you know, but why is his assistant unaffected? She's in the desert in Arizona. She's nowhere near them. Okay. Gotcha. Wow. So uh, you, you do have to mention that, and I do have to mention this, with all this shit going on, I find it really odd that no one mentions Kara at all. All this discussion of Kryptonians coming to Earth and, oh, my God, you're not alone and I'm a, this and that and we're going to bring back. Where the fuck is Kara? The season Supergirl. Two? I know. Yeah. Season but that, two? that show is terrible. I know, so they so don't they want to not they mention. They just want to separate the show from it. But I have to mention it here because I was thinking during some of the dialogue, it's like, but. The super girl. There's super girl. Uh, excuse me, Joe. Well, our ratings are good, and those ratings are bad. So anyway, so this Kara. was an, so this was another really bad episode for me. It was uneven. Five out of ten. I really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I actually like liked this one, but then like it well, was it like, gets the it, five it for good, the lowest and punching else. him out. But what else besides the lowest thing was cool? I was like the Kryptonians. I was like oh, the that's Kryptonian cool. battle was fucking stupid. Well, it was going. I was like, oh, that's cool. And then it was like, oh. Oh, then, uh, so then why did you like know. it? Why are you even adding that into the po positive side? I there were some parts. It of the, was uh, purely negative. That battle was fucking stupid. Was. I really it liked was. the, you know, not Lana. So his mother has I conversations. I, but I had that at first. I kind of liked it. But then I thought about it. I was like, no, there's nothing yeah. there. I'm sorry. La uh, his mother has a conversation um, with with him, which I thought was really great. It didn't end very well. But it, the start of the conversation, talking about him and his life, talking about her grandkids. And then she had a conversation with Lois that was really starting to yeah. build up to something nice yeah. and emotional. Mm -hmm. And yes, it went absolutely nowhere. She falls over, and then we don't talk about it ever again. But it was building up into something really yeah, cool. Yeah, I like that. So and I was hoping some for more. That's for why that. I got disappointed that it did, there wasn't more. I, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, she's like, here, so, I finished the device. Thank you. I'm so proud of you, son. Right. Man. Like yeah. that Something. cool shit. Something. There's none of that. But I, yeah. I did like Whatever. that. And so, so it turns out uh, we got six out of 10, nine out of 10, five out of 10, uh, seven out of 10, and then finally five out of 10. 
So, and then that's episode uh, all the way through 10. But because uh, 11's out, fuck it. Let's do 11. Ugh. Go ahead, y'all. Y'all take this This one, is a since flash, it's fresh in your mind. It's a flashback episode, and it honestly starts out pretty cool, right? So it kind of goes over the history of Superman. Uh, he, as a kid, uh-huh. goes to you know goes to the Arctic. He kind of discovers the Fortress of Solitude, starts his training, but he leaves Smallville, and then it shows him returning, and it kind of goes through the major points in his life. And so, as we start going from flashback Love to flashback, flashback by some the of them were great. So it was like he discovers he wants to work for the Daily Planet, and then he meets Lois Lane, and they start working together. They start doing all sorts of cool stuff. Well, the one we saw Lana at the beginning. Too, yeah. My mom made go, this. You want to go talk to Lana? And then she finds out she, she's, she's, she's with, with another, Kyle. She's with Kyle. Fucking Kyle Yeah, again. fucking Kyle. <laughs> and so they go through all this stuff, and he realizes, wait a minute, why am I replaying all these memories? And he starts to see kind of a shadow in some of them. Yeah. And he realizes that Morgan's there with him. Yeah. And so he's... He's trying to figure out things. Because I thought this was misplaced. I was like, oh, this should... Like, I really like this. This yeah. should have been in the front. Yeah. But then it comes together at the end. Yeah, yeah. it was it was a good episode yeah. uh, overall. And then keep going. And then, so it turns out that Morgan is uh, used the, the doodad for... From uh, Demolition Man, mm-hmm. so they can share consciousness. Yep. Um, and that Demolition Man, they have sex, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was gonna be later. That it was, yeah. that, that, <laughs> he, look, disgusting. He got her pregnant in these uh, flashbacks. Morgan was there during the sex. He yeah. was there, and they were okay. there during the honeymoon too. Guys. So they okay. go, they All go through right. the whole thing, and then Morgan is there, and he's like, "Hey, I, I know who you are. Your real name's Clark Kent, and you're married. I know everything now. I, I know, know everything now. Oh, shit, so like... apparently, even other Kryptonians are dumb as fuck and don't recognize the dude with glasses and not glasses. But Superman gonna... needs a goddamn alarm system, or some robots that he's had, or some polar bears, <laughs> if you know the uh, Kevin Smith, because the dude just shows up to the forest while he's fucking sleeping. Yeah. While he's weak. Well, he has a whole bunch of... Well, no, he ain't got no fucking eye alarm series, system. So he's able to do this, figure everything out. Yeah. You're weak. I'm going to go fuck with your family. Yeah, and then he beats his ass. Morgan just punches him three times and just oh, yeah, beats yeah. his ass. Well, it's be, here, here's the thing, Alex, and you you, were, you, you seem pissed off about this it. This episode is they fucking garbage. They get punched garbage. once, and he's a little bitch, and then he lets his I, family get Not fucked. physically. I mean, emotionally and mentally, Superman is made a little... Bitch in this episode. Superman is weak. He's solar flared, right? He gets punched three times. We have to assume that he literally does not have any superpowers. His yeah, superpowers is like a one out of ten. Right sure, I totally understand. Okay. I'm not. Ta- I'm not talking okay. physically or powers at all. He gets sure. punched three times and he's pretty much incapacitated. Okay. Morgan shows up at the farm and says, and you know, does like, a little speech with Lois and he, Lucian. He zaps. Uh, um, not Jonathan, but he uh, he zaps Jordan's dumbass and fall, he, he falls over. And then Clark kind of falls out of the sky and hits the ground. And he's like, I'll do whatever you want. Leave I'll, my family alone. Yeah, leave my family alone. I'd submit. I'm going to be your little bitch. You can put me in a dress and do whatever you want. And then the rest that's, of the episode. That was the right call. That's, that's what's going to get that situation diffused because the guy was literally about to kill his family. So he's just doing it as a ruse to get close to. Here's what I'm hoping. Now, this could not be true, that he knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. He's doing it as a ruse to get closer to him. But I don't know. The end of the episode plays around with that idea. His own wife's not even convinced because his own wife calls the like her her alternate boyfriend from a different dimension saying, hey, you need to come kill Superman. He's evil Okay, and you're just saying you're mad that he had no choice and he made that choice. What should he have done? Anything else. Okay. for me, punched him and then lost and then his yeah, family yeah. died. Yeah, for me, okay. I, no, not that. But for me, he would have been like, okay, let's have a little fight or something. And he, then he's he loses, struggling, and he's then losing. His family he's like, dies. all right, now give up. Like, the guy right, has fine. the reprogram machine, and if he just says, "You are now my father," like I'm going to put my father's consciousness inside of you, then the whole world dies. I just don't think it's very Superman for him to be like, I'm going to sacrifice the, literally the whole world you're, for my you're kids. You're absolutely right. I, I, I feel I like he should at least like because gone, this gone is, out fighting. Because th- you're right. You're exactly right. Because this is the point of con- this is the point where he turns yeah. in the previous timeline. Yeah. And he knows. And he's evil, and he knows what happens in the previous timeline. Okay, yeah, no, I got you. So, yeah, that, that pretty much flies in, in the face of what we've seen because then the next scene, and I was hoping that it, I was hoping for something else because the next scene does dispel that. He, he goes to his, well, you, I like the sun on my face, and you hide in your ice, and then he goes to the desert, puts his little fucking chip in, yeah. brings Superman there, and he's like, look, father, and his father's all old and weak and stupid, and I hate him, <laughs> but he's evil, and he wants to do stupid shit, and then he's like, I brought him, and he's like, okay, 
So now we're going to use the Eradicator to influence him. I thought he was going to put his father's consciousness into him or something or some other Kryptonian. But no, I guess they just straight up turn him evil. And it's because he looks up and his eyes are glowing red. Well, they, they torch, they, they're using the pain ray or something. They're doing something to him. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm still holding out a small amount of hope that he's faking or something. Why? I don't fucking The Superman's know. a liar instead. Because, I don't know. Because, because of what Alex said. It's like Superman literally gives up like a punk ass bitch on yeah, the that's one like, thing at least go out fighting. that tips everything over. And he if he becomes evil, he's unstoppable. Like the, the scene could have been Superman instead of falling on the the family farm falls at the feet of of steel and just says, okay. I need your help. But here's what they're doing. So I saw evil Superman in flashbacks multiple times. I thought it was cool. Black suit. But I thought kind of he was kind of evil from the beginning, but I guess it wasn't. But now we're going to do. And then we did the John Henry arc. And then we did the reveal of Tao Ro, and we did the Man of Steel arc, only television budget. And now we're about to do the evil Superman arc. Why? How many fucking times do Damn. we have to do the evil fucking Superman well, arc? We, we didn't have to. I'm like, so fucking tired of it. Me too. Like, After Injustice, that's all WB wants to do. That's all writers of Superman wants to do is evil Superman. And it's fucking pissing me off. But you know what? I, I, I will say this. At least they're fucking getting it out of the way in the first season. Because you know they're going to fucking do it. If I have to fucking put up with an evil Superman, we might as well get it out of the way in the first season, and we won't have to see that shit again for a long... Maybe. I was going to say forever, but knowing them for at least a while. Maybe they just tease evil Superman in this one. So they don't I'm there. ready for season two, <laughs> because I don't want to see these next episodes. Season evil Superman, be all then he finds through the evil. power of love and the power of family, breaks free of the programming, and then he beats everybody up. We already fucking know what's going to happen. You don't even need to see the last episode. It's but I'm hoping for something else. Love. I don't know. There was a team up opportunity that would have been incredible. Yes. Unpowered Superman. You have steel. You have all the weapons that you know his father in law has. Well, that's and probably you, what's coming. You have a half powered punk ass bitch that no one likes, and you have them <laughs> against a real powered up suit like Talro. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you have those two fight. That's yeah. where this should have that gone. Been cool. And what is happening now looks like it fucking Evil sucks. Superman. They needed to do it in order to. Uh, make the prophecies come true from the other mm. timeline that he's now turning you in, and all hope is lost. So, anyways, um, that's it. Well, Joe, at least there's Joe only is, uh, uh, crying now. There's Man. not that many more left. You only have to watch four more episodes, and then we're done. Until next yeah, year, four more episodes for this thing to wrap up. We'll give you a, a, a season finale review. Hopefully, uh, things ramp up now and we stop going to fucking talent shows and we stop focusing on the goddamn Lang. Well, no, 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 no because they started making out. Their boyfriend the and girlfriend school. now. Yes, that's right. Oh, that's so. one other plot point we forgot to touch on. Jordan is now happy again and they start kissing and then they're a thing. They're an item now. What do you want to bet she kisses jo uh, Jonathan next? No, that you cannot go back and forth. It's because the fucking again, CW. Jo because, it, all right, man, are you talking to my girl? I heard you in my house. He's like, you fucking spying on me? What the fuck? Yes. I was covering for your ass, you stupid motherfucker. Yeah, it's so annoying. All right. <laughs> Anyways, that's it, guys. Um, it's It was letting us down a little bit in several ways, but we see the potential, yeah, and we want it to be good, even as Superman fans. Mm -hmm. Downvote the fucking video all you want, because I know there's hardcore Superman fans out there that are fucking crazy for it. But honestly, as a critic... My critic brain want the other cannot side, be turned not off. The CW side. Yeah, it is fucking terrible. Well, what I'm thinking is now they got all this shit out of the way, and they we do the Evil Superman at the last half. And you guys know about my feelings on Evil Superman. Season two is gonna be fucking great. <laughs> well, for, with these I'm already ready for season two because they left. already got an order for season two, so I don't have to worry Jordan about gets how what's well her face pregnant. these done. <laughs> and then we we have Grandpa Superman. Grandpa Superman. <laughs> yeah. No, I think they're gonna do something with the brothers. Super powered. Got to be something with the brothers. Out. The brothers fight each other. Jordan, Jonathan finally has enough, and I'm on team fucking Jonathan. <laughs> well, he's crippled now. No, he'll, he he'll heal. He'll heal. 
All right. Superpowers. That's it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like these, how about supporting us on Patreon so we can continue to make them for you? You can use the YouTube join button here on YouTube if that's easier for you guys. Awesome shirts. We got some great merch in uh, the links down below. We would love it if you take a look at it. And uh, we want the best for Superman. We want the best show. And it's tough it's love. T- yeah. A little bit of tough exactly. love. Exactly. Right? We, there's great moments in the show. And uh, it's just weighed down. It's a little uneven. I think we and deserve hopefully, better since we're hopefully it'll even out. movie. I knew it was going to be a little bit this way when it says Superman and Lois. You know, it's, it's like... That's it's not Superman. Superman is not the focus of the show. 50% is some other junk. And 25% yes. of that junk is good. Lois. Yes. But the other 25%. And honestly, it's not 50% Superman. It's more like 25% Superman. Yeah, 75% other Ke- junk. Yeah. It's it's 25% Lois. 25% Team Kyle. Drama. And 25% Kyle. Fucking Kyle. Lang. What we're Fuck hoping Kyle. for is you take the feedback That's and it. do that for season two. No, All more right, Kyle. guys. Thank you so much. I try not to let these go an hour when an hour. Uh, fuck it. <laughs> That's why I talk over people. But whatever. You know what? If, uh, from now on, let's just do whatever time we want. I don't know. See how it goes. It's half and half. We got two videos out. We got it. So. We got it's it. It's fine. Thank it's you fine. all so much for watching. We will see you on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, guys. Bye guys.